welcome back to Scott's Retros Collectibles. Now, guys, this is a lot quicker than what I thought this video was going to come out due to the pure retro-related items I've picked up since the beginning of January. That from charity shops, uh, from friends, there's a bit from everywhere, CEX, that I've had to do this pickup video a lot earlier than what I usually would. I'd usually wait till the end of Jan and do a complete pickup video. Uh, if we go back to last year, I was doing weekly pickup videos because of the uh, sheer amount of volume I was picking up. I've had one of those kind of, I say one of those, well, one of those weeks, couple of weeks where I picked up quite a lot. So I thought I'd just take you guys through what I've picked up over the last couple of weeks, where it's come from and what I plan to do with it. Now, as you can see, it's starting to get a bit compact in here. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of stuff over here and my loft is completely full. So I opened the hatch the other day. I was embarrassed to be fair. Uh, quality items, but absolutely embarrassed that I filled it to the point where you can just lift up the wooden hatch. Uh, so yeah, interesting times, but I will start. Uh, so starting from today, I'm going through bits and pieces. I will start attending some of the toy affairs. Uh, not too sure about gaming fairs at the moment. More than likely will, but it's going to take me some time to go through bits and pieces and sort out some stuff in tubs. You know, I've got to buy those little plastic bags, etc. Put stuff in there, price it out, and then get rid. Get rid so I can keep buying bits and pieces. Keep bits for the collection, ship a lot of it out. But the hell of a lot of it that I picked up, like that toy collection that you would have seen in previous videos, I'm just going to get rid of it all. Uh, the vintage Star Wars, the Ghostbusters, the He-Man, the Thundercats. Uh, a hell of a lot of gaming stuff. I'm just going to price it up and get rid and keep my bits. I want to get a, I, I think I said this in my last video, I want to get a couch up here again and make it a little bit more of that kind of, more of a kind of den that I can sit in, chill, play computers. But at the moment with the amount I'm picking up, I'm picking up far too much. There's a lot of volume up here. You know, no one needs, I'm looking down, I've mostly got about 50 PlayStation 1 pads. Now, I'd say I know 50 people. Am I going to have 50 people up here to play PlayStation 1? Can 50 pads go into a PlayStation 1 pool? Absolutely not. I need to start getting rid of some of this stuff. Same with Dreamcast. Uh, same with the amount of consoles I have. So you'd know I pick up a hell of a lot of Nintendo Wii consoles. I think I've got another one. I think I've got another one. Xbox 360s, PlayStation 2s. They seem to be the free consoles that come all the time. I'm picking them up dead cheap. Uh, but I need to start moving them on. There's no point me sitting on them. Again, what am I going to do with 20 to 30 PS2s just sitting there? Nothing. Uh, I need to get my act together and get this out. But let's go through what I've picked up because there's been some bloody gems. Uh, and there's a hell of a lot. I'm looking here and I'm looking here. I've got black. So you would have seen, if you've watched my last video, thanks a lot. I know it was short, short and sweet, I'd say. Uh, but literally after, I popped into a charity shop uh, and I've literally picked up a black bag full, uh, a couple of consoles and games, but we'll go through that. But let's just start this so much, I'm just looking. But let's just start from CEX. Some of the CEX bits I've picked up. Uh, so, guys, you would have seen in my last last video, is it the CEX trading? I think it was. It definitely was. No, it was the Alpenton Toy Fair, then the CEX trading. But you would have seen that I picked up some gems uh, in terms of what I traded in for. Had a hell of a lot of money left. And these are some of the games I've picked up, and I'll tell you why. So I picked up the mid, uh, and this one was only three quid considering the value that I had in vouchers. But picked this one up, uh, which is the arcade, uh, is it the arcade action? The Midway Treasure Collection. It's got some quality games on it for three pounds. Spy Hunter, Sinstar, Defender, Paperboy, 720. It's got Marble Madness, Rampage, Wizard of Wars, uh, Champion Sprint, Arch Rivals. And then the main one that I fought for these, the main three, Mortal Kombat 1, 2 and 3. For £3. That will go in a job lot with a PSP that I've got. I picked this one up for the sure reason. It does increase in value. And in my terms, one of the greatest beat-em-ups to hit the consoles. I loved it in the arcades. Used to always play this in the arcades. My first Capcom 2. It's on Xbox. Traded it. Got 25. So I had vouchers traded in because I thought all day it's going to demand that. If not a little bit more online. Uh, so I did pick that up. Manuals in there. Disc is in really good shape. A strange one. I did put this on my Instagram. So, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. So, on CEX's website, this is completely sold out everywhere on Xbox. Can't get it. There's no copies. In my local store, they had one on the shelf, but I had it for 45 Now, on the website, it's saying that they sell it for 50 but they've got none in stock. So, that'll wait. that's a red flag. When you see a CEX game and you scan it and it says none in stock, that automatically tells me that everyone's brought that game and that game is trading or reselling for a greater value than what CX is selling it for. 
Hence this game. So Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Phenom and Wolverine in it. But if you look online. So yeah. Traded this in. £45. It mostly doubles that. I'm seeing it sell from around 75 to 90 uh, So a bloody good pickup on Xbox. So yeah. I will definitely just sell that one on. And then one for my collection I've been after. So you would have seen. I'm going for like kind of the horror. Kind of suspense -y Kind of games that you get with a playstation 2 that are starting to become very desirable and again check out your cex app you'll know what i'm talking about there's ones like project zero obscure shadow of memories and then there's clock tower as well uh, so i did pick up clock towers this one had the instructions now the case does have a little bit of damage but we'll come on to that later because i've got some empty cases in terms of what i've been picking up from the charity shops uh, so i'll swap it over but it's yes clock tower free definitely stepping up in price as well so 32 trading Paid £8 for this one. Uh, so another one stepping up really. Shadows and Memories. Very similar in terms of these games where you're on an adventure. But it's kind of like that third person. Uh, so you've got Shadow and Memories there. Clock Tower there. Just starting to become desirable games for the PlayStation 2. You're really starting to see those PlayStation 2 games step up now. So I picked those up. Now we're going to come away from gaming. And you're going to think, Scott, where are you going? But next pickups. Stuff it a little bit more random. So a family member did reach out to me for these and a few of the other bits and pieces said, look, I've moved out, I've cleared out uh, my loft, etc. There's loads of bits and pieces. I've shifted a few on eBay, but I don't have the time for it. There's issues with people that buy stuff, you know, these kind of sellers that say they don't receive it, etc. He just wanted to pass them on and get rid of them. Uh, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll take them, I'll take them. I didn't realise there was a sheer volume of what there was. But loads of WWF. Uh, these are brilliant. WWF magazines. So look at these. Doink and dink. Uh, but there's absolute tonnage. Guys, you can see the amount I've got here. Adam Bomb. You don't see these anymore. I don't even know what the value is on these because I tend not to come across them. I've picked them up, I think, once at a boot sale before. Uh, but yeah, this is when, in my eyes, this is when wrestling was good. I won't go through all of these, but you, you understand where I'm going with this. There's another one there. Steiner Brothers, Undertaker, not from 92, so I can see some of the dates on these, but there's loads. Loads here, Razor Ramon, Psycho Sid. You can see where I'm going with this. That's another decent one. Look, Brett in the cage. Uh, but yeah, quite a few magazines. There's one from 1990, Hulk Hogan on the front, lifting weights as he does. Yoko Suna. Damn, there's so many uh but yes so i picked up a hell of a lot of those and then there was some beavis and butthead uk related uh comics that were thrown in as well let me get these ones out the back so yeah your beavis and butthead we would have had these in the 90s guys there would have been everything coming out around the 90s you definitely would have had the x-men ones as well that come out you've had the turtles supernaturals visionaries we had them all uh but yes a nice little pile there you can see there what i've got Back to that same pickup. So, yeah, it was like I was just going through my childhood, and yeah, I couldn't believe he wanted rid, but he just wanted rid of them. I was happy to take them off his hands. But the little books, we used to get the Ladybird books, uh, and I haven't got some of these ones. So, you would have seen with the house clearance that I'd done, where I cleared out a load of retro related toys, again, all the vintage stuff, that there's a few of these books thrown in. Uh, but yeah, loads more Masters of the Universe. These were everyone that I knew had these Masters of the Universe. Uh, so, I've got a few. Didn't really have the action force, which in the United States you'd know is G.I. Joe. Brave Star. Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe. And I never knew that they had the mask ones. So yeah, some nice little books there. Continuing it. Threw this in as well. So I've already got one of these. I was fortunate enough to find one of these at the charity shops in the past. But yeah, complete and... Uh, yeah, you remember it used to come with the cards. I've never even played it to be fair. I've just left mine in the loft. A little belt. But yes, everything it seems to be here. The board's here, the game's here. What's the board look like? Again, I've just left mine. I've not even opened mine in the loft, but there you go. Retro magic, retro magic. Uh, but yes, it's got a slight little, it's come undone there, but I don't think that's gonna, war that's gonna matter. Uh, so I've got that. I'm trying to think what else there was. There was loads. Yes, he did. He gave this as well. 
Look at this bad boy. So he gave me this. Does need a little bit of a dust up. I'm going to keep this, guys, and put this into my collection. I've got a Bart Simpson one. But I love these little clocks. These, are these to me, they just scream out 90s. You used to have so many different characters. You'd have the Mario, obviously the Bart Simpson. I've seen wrestling ones, Turtles, Ghostbusters. There's like a long line of these clocks that come out. So I've got the Mario Brothers. Uh, so I'm happy with that. That's staying in my collection. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that he passed on to me. And... I want to say, I think there's this last one. There was another little game. Oh, there's another two little games that he passed on as well. Uh, and he said, look, if you can get them working, it's a plus for you. Now, the battery compartments look bloody clean and there's none in there. So I'm hoping these will work. Need to try them out, but little handhelds. So again, pure 90s. You would have remembered that Tiger brought out a lot of these around movies and computer games. You would have had a Sonic. Uh, what I've once said, I swear they've done a Mortal Kombat. Uh, and then they started doing the Disney movies, didn't they? Like Little Mermaid, Hercules, Lion King, etc. But the other companies started jumping on it. I don't know who this is by, to be fair. Uh, can't see a name on it. Someone will throw it in the comments, no doubt. But WCW. WCW handheld. And then this one's missing the back. But it's just like a, I'd, I'd say like third party baseball. And then another little third party one. And this one is, I think it's a bit of everything. So it just says electronic game. And it's got car racing, baseball and basketball. Not too sure how that would work. Uh, but that one as well. That one as well, put it down there. Uh, but yeah, happy with those. Don't really come across, I've never really come across handhelds that often. Uh, and then we start getting onto other bits and pieces. I think that's it from uh, that member of the family, I say, because my brother, uh, bless him, I was around there. You, you know what it's like, guys. When you go to your brother's house or any family members, you kind of sit there, you have your roast dinner if you're around for dinner, and you sit there and you're a little bit like blank face thinking, actually, is this going to get awkward or am I going to go something? Is it time to go? Uh, and I'm not saying it's like that right now. I've just said like it's, it feels like it around my mum and dad's, but it doesn't. It just, I get bored very easily. Once I've had my dinner, I like to do something. I like to be active. Uh, and if my brother's in, it's great. And my brother was in, he was downstairs. I've done videos on his collection before. He's got a huge collection. Uh, and he was like, oh, Scott, is there anything you want out of these boxes? So he's, his collection's all on display, but he's got a couple of boxes that are just hidden behind uh, books, etc. And he's like, I don't know what's in there. You, you know, you can take it. Some of it's doubles or stuff I don't want. Now, there's a few bits I was like, yeah, I'll take those. Uh, so he doubled up on games, which he didn't realise. So I just so he gave these to me. So Star Wing, take that. Back to the Future 3, he had two copies. And then this game here. So I know it's Batman, I can just tell that. So I brought him a really nice copy of Batman from the boot sale, maybe two years ago with the instructions. And that was a find and a half. It was a lady there who had like a bum bag, but... The bum bag wasn't open, so no one knew what was in the bum bag. I walked past, opened the bum bag, and there was about 16 Game Boy games in there. But they were in little jiffy bags with the instructions for each one. And I asked how much she wanted from them all, and she only wanted £20. So I brought them all, and Batman was one of those games. Uh, I gave them all to my brother, because at the time, he was on a hardcore quest to get as much Game Boy games as possible. I think he's sitting on about 200 now, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I gave them to him for his collection, and he had Batman when he was going through it the other day. And yeah, it's missing the sticker, but I'll take it. You know, I don't mind that stuff. And then the last ones uh, that he gave me. So we're going through bits and pieces. And whenever you go to toy fairs, you always, you seem to sometimes get your toys in these. And he's got a load of these that were just, I say a load, there's three uh, that were empty. And I said, yeah, look, I'll take those because I want to move into shifting some of this stuff. I'll put some figures in there, no doubt. And I'll order some myself so I know what I'm looking for. Uh, so I took those. And then he's got, he's, he thought this was the Undertaker he needed. Uh, so there's, if you know your Hasbro, there's quite a few Undertakers. There's one with a cloak, uh, with the black hair, and there's the like I say like the ginger red-headed Undertaker. He thought it was that one he needed. I I swore to him it wasn't. The black-haired one's more desirable, harder to find. That's the one you need. He didn't go with me at the time, and he brought this at Sandown. He paid eight pound for it. Mostly a solid investment now, because I, I no doubt I think they're up to like fifteen twenty pound a figure, maybe more. Uh, so he said, take that and do what you want with it. So I've taken that. I've already got the Undertaker in mine, uh, but he took that. And then he had some WCW and he's like, oh, I brought them ages ago. They were £10 for the pair. And the guy was telling me that they're going to be worth money. They're exclusives. And when he opened them, I was like, I picked these. I picked a few. I think I've picked these up before at Sandown. So him on a separate account and then this one on the other one where I picked up for £3, I think in the last video I went. Uh, but now I've got another pair. So, yeah, these are bloody hard to come by. Uh, and when he said you can have them, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll take them. Are you sure? He's like, yeah, he doesn't have any WCW in his collection. Uh, so, yeah, take them. So I took those two. And then myself, while we are on the WCW, I was in a charity shop. Uh, and this is an interesting story. I was in the charity shop. 
and I was just buying a load of games and they were just, I was waiting for someone at the queue because sometimes at the charity shop you get people, especially with clothing, they take their time and they want to go through everything when they're at the till thinking they're going to get a mass discount or you do round my one. So I was just waiting there for to pay for my games and I thought, right, I'll go look at the toy section and I was looking and they usually always have these buckets, like 10p, little cars. I want to say like Matchbox. Sometimes the day's gone, but they're a little bit battered. They're not like desirable ones that you'd showcase. And then in there was a few toys. I was ruffling through. The only two, 10p each, guys. So 10p each, Ric Flair. And these are the Galoops, WCW, and Arn Anderson. Again, it's got a little bit of paint just off there. But yeah, 20p for both, 20p for both of them, 10p each. I was happy with those, so I picked those up. So it's strange that I got those WCWs, the WCW handheld. It's kind of, yeah, it made me think a little bit. Now, the last two from my brother. This was a funny one. So he went to Forbidden Planet literally a week ago because uh, he was watching my videos. He's like, I'm going to go up there, just check what they got. He loves Ewoks. So he's got the Village box. He's got loads of Ewoks uh, and he's been buying the new ones. Now, he's brought this one a couple of times now, bless him, thinking he hasn't got it. So he gave me that, which I was happy with. I thought I'd take that. That would go in my collection. And then I had to get this because this was... So I brought this and left it around there. Totally forgot that I left it around there. Had it around there for some time. So I brought this ages ago uh, and left it around my mum. So my brother just had it on his shelf. Said I could take it back. And I thought, yeah, this brings back so much memory. So it's the turtle slime. Now there's no slime in there. Ooze, sorry. Uh, but the little turtles in there. And the reason I brought this and I paid... Let's say, I want to say it's two or three years ago I brought this. Uh, I paid £40 for it at the time. £40, and I thought it was a lot, but not now, considering how much this stuff jumps for. You can mostly refill it with newer goo, uh, but the re main reason I brought it was, one, the packaging. I love this. I remember this as a kid, and when I was in I was in hospital as a child, uh, was it grommets being removed? I mem remember rightly, and I couldn't bring any toys with me into the hospital, uh, but I snuck in my pocket the little glow-in-the-dark turtle that come with the ooze, because it is small enough to go in my little pocket. I was only 10 at the time. Uh, small enough to go in my pocket. I don't think I was eight. I think I was about eight or nine, most probably. Around that age, anyway. But I snuck it in my pocket, put it in there, and kept him in there for the whole thing. So, I don't know. For some reason, when I brought this a few years ago, I was like, oh, it brought back that memory, hence why I brought it. Uh, so, yes, he's back in my collection now. And I don't know if I might get some newer ooze to put in there, just to bring that to life a little. But, yeah, happy to have that in my collection. That would just go on the shelf. So, I've got that. Now, in terms of pickups now, this is where it's going to start getting interesting. Most of the stuff... All the stuff I'm looking at is charity shop. There might be the ad, the odd CEX, but let's just go for it. So, first charity shop, down in Catford. Posted this on my Instagram. Uh, never really find too much in Catford when I'm down there, but my parents live down there, my brother's there, uh, friends. I always go down there. There's certain places I like to go and eat when I'm down there. And sad as it, sad as it sounds, I reflect on life and what's going on at the moment. There's a nice little Chinese shop on the main high street. Uh, which I always go always go to and I just sit in there. It's not very busy. I just have my chicken, curry and rice. And I literally just sit there just thinking about how the week's gone or how time's gone. Eat that. There's no headaches. No one in my ears, anything. Turn my phone off. Just reflect. Uh, but then on the way back, I always take a little trip through the charity shops. Uh, not a lot of gaming, to be fair. The, stuff, the same stuff that was there last time. A lot of sing stars. Absolutely shed loads of sing stars. It's like someone's just brought in about 20 copies. So I left that. But one of the charity shots I went into is British Heart Foundation. Now, with the British Heart Foundation in Catford, and rightly so, they should get as much money as they need to get or sell stuff for whatever they want to sell stuff. But in my my view, is it's a little expensive, but they base all the pricing in the Heart Foundation, are the one in Catford, on what stuff's selling for on eBay. Uh, so I go in there, still have a look, because there might be some gems, but I don't really rarely find anything in there apart from this day so i went in there uh i walked past this a couple of times because it was on the side it wasn't even that way it was that way so when you look at that you just see 300 puzzle didn't really take too much of it then i took a double look i was like oh actually i can see the little space crusade in the corner and it looks quite vintage uh so this was one pound one pound 49 sliced half price because it's been sitting there for a couple of weeks to 74p now i got the 74p out i just paid it the man, the money, and took it. Now, it's all in there, complete. Someone's opened it, I think, in the charity shop to count it, because they told me it's complete, which is gutted. I'd rather them just keep kept it sealed, and I don't know why you'd open it if it was sealed to count it, because surely if it's sealed, it's all there. Uh, but that's down to them. And then it's got the 92 catalogue in there. Now, I thought this was going to be a lot better than what it actually is. 
So it's just a catalogue of puzzles that they're doing. But from back in 92. And guys, there's nothing that stands out to say this is retro related. It's a lot of houses, artworks. The odd film poster, Gone With The Wind. Uh, who's that? That's Marilyn. I'm Ro, but nothing that stands out. So a little bit gutted, but I'll keep it in there. Uh, but yes, yeah, 74p. 74p, Space Crusade. So it's happy with that. These actually come from the family members who gave me a load of stuff. Uh, they are battered. I don't know if I'm going to open those. So you do uh, Jagafet, isn't it? Jogafet. Jagafet. Django Fet. Django Fet. So I've got those. And then the next bit's picked up from the charity shop. Don't really go for puzzles. And I don't know if this is a thing because I picked up that Space Crusade. And I thought from a reselling point of view. I opened it. I should not have opened it. It was sealed. Uh, but the whole lot is sealed inside. So it's still in the paper bag that it comes in. It's got the poster in there. A thousand piece puzzle. And the reason I picked this up. Just went for it. Inspirational women. Uh, so it definitely looks like it's not long come out. Uh, I didn't check the date on it. I should have done that maybe. Uh, I don't think there was a... There's got to be a date. There's a date on everything. Uh, but given the character, I don't, characters, there's no characters, and it's inspirational women. These are real people. It's a lot of uh, Meryl Streep. Who is there? There's loads on it. Annie Lennox, Oprah Winfrey, Annette Hill, Ellen DeGeneres. There's loads. There's loads. Guys, why am I doing this? Just hold it up. There's loads on it. Absolutely loads. A uh, thousand piece puzzle. How much was it? I think I paid a pound for it. But I absolutely love that. I think that's great. I think that'd be a great gift for someone as well. Uh, so I brought that with reselling in mind. That's the main reason I picked it up. Now, let's get through to some of the other. Another board game I picked up. Reselling in mind. So I paid £6. I'm not too sure I've overpaid. And it was just the fact it said Transformers. And I absolutely started geeking out. Don't really see this stuff when I'm out. But uh, yeah, Transformers. What is it? It's the 30th anniversary, 2014. All day. It's got little metal uh, pieces in it as well. Optimus Prime, Megatron. Starstream, Raven, Grimlock, and Jazz. So, yeah, I'm happy with that £6. Surely there's got to be value in Monopoly, uh, especially that one. So I picked that up. What are these bits down here? These you would have seen, I believe, from my CEX. So you would have seen that I picked up PlayStation 1 game, the uh, Forbidden Sirens 2. A little bit on the horror side, trying to pick that up. Now, had to, had to pick this one up. Ultimate. The reason I picked this up, I have a boxed Mega Drive. Uh, absolutely mint. Absolutely mint. Well, it can't be mint because it's missing the game. But it's on those levels. You know where I'm going. This is brilliant condition uh, for a Mega Drive. Mega Drive 1. But this game should have come with it and it's missing. So it's not mint. That's the, that's the lesson I've taken away from this. Uh, choose my words carefully. Uh, but yeah, that needs to go in there. So I'll just clean that up a little bit and I will put this game back in there. Everything's in there. And then that makes that complete. Uh, champions you would have seen that I picked up. Now, let's go through these games here. These are all charity shop buyers. All charity shop buyers. So gaming, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and flick through these guys because there's a hell of a lot to get through. Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, Metal Gear Two. A lot of these ones would have come from. You would have seen the charity shop video where I scored right at the last moment. Uh, bottom shelf of the charity shop, there's loads of games. I went back to that charity shop. That whole bay now is now games. And I know someone else who also does charity shop hunting messaged me and said, Scott, I went to that charity shop I saw in your video. Absolutely scored. And they showed me a hell of a lot of games they got. Very desirable uh, games. <laughs> very desirable games. And they also found free Godzilla animated uh, DVDs, which are about £30 each. Uh, so they done really well. But Star Wars. What's that one? Jedi Starfighter. Gunmetal. Perez. Is that Panrez Dragon? So that was in there. I think this is quite a desirable game for Xbox. Didn't have the instructions. Uh, but picked it up anyway. I picked up Burnout 1 and 2. Absolutely love these games. Oddworld. For Xbox, Dead or Alive 3. Oh, I've got to pick these up because they've fallen over. And this is what happens when you don't put stuff in a reasonable pile. Now, pick this up. It's only got deadly... It's got up to Harry Potter 1 to 7. But it's only got part 1 of Deadly Hollows. Uh, and I thought, oh, I don't know if this has still got a value DVD. But it has. I think it's like still £8 trading. So I've brought that. That will be trading into CX. That's the only reason I brought that. And that was part of part... 
How much was that whole pile? I think it's. I don't know if it's a pound each for the games in there, or it's a couple of quid for two get, or it's one pound for two games. Uh, but the box set was a pound. I was happy all day with that. Now more games. Now these games were all free for one pound because uh, this is a completely different charity shop, and there's some gems in here. So first one I kept at the top, sealed, sealed Grand Theft Auto. Uh, it's episodes from Liberty City. Uh, so yeah, I need to keep that to one side. I leave it there. Uh, Monster Hunter PSP. Uh, yeah, I did check all these. Pirates of the Caribbean, PSP. Let's put them over there. Another sealed game. So, Superstars Racing V8. Not too sure, but I'll keep that there. Grand Theft Auto 5. Always good picking that one up. Fuel. Need for Speed. Hot Pursuit. And I picked out a lot of these Need for Speed because I think they had good sell-on value, like the Connect one. I think it's like £7 trading. Uh, yep, some more here. Metro 2033. Not too sure, I was just picking up Grand Theft Auto 5, which is brilliant that I've picked this copy up because I need a copy of, of the PlayStation 4 to go in the PlayStation 4 box. I don't know, when you brought the Grand Theft Auto, uh, the PlayStation 4 version, I don't know if the game was preloaded on the PlayStation 4 or you got the game separate. If someone drops that in the comments, that would massively help because I don't know if I need to keep this to put back in that box with the PlayStation 4 that I've got or if it should have come preloaded. Let me know, guys. I'm going to leave that one there. So... Still loads more games. Not too sure about this one. Don't know what it is either. Uh, but yeah, interesting. That was part of the uh, three for one pound. Strange. Mario Tennis. Got so many Wii games. And that's this one I need to go through them. Just Dance 2. Just Dance 1. Halo Reach. Watch Dogs 2. PlayStation 4. Deluxe Edition. Look at this, Mirror's Edge. They might be PlayStation 4 games that maybe not worth as much, The Division. And then PlayStation 2, Lord of the Rings. This is, this is, no, sorry, guys, that was all the free for £1. These are the £1 ones as well when I went back there. Because I know from the purple tags on them. So, Lord of the Rings. Uh, Extreme Express. I brought this. I've never seen a game where you're racing trains. Just weird. I don't have it for my collection, so I picked it up. Picked up, uh, what is it, Battlefield, Sealed. Uh, like the Americans say, I guess, in their videos, you can't, if you see Sealed games, you've got to pick them up, yeah? Rightly or wrongly. I've not really found any desirable games. Maybe that Grand Theft Auto, but apart from that, I don't really find desirable uh, Sealed games. I've got a few Wii ones. I need to dig them out, but yeah, I need to put all those in a separate pile. Driver. This might be the one that uh, has got some money as well for the Connect. Is it Connect? Yes, it is for the Connect. And there's another one there. I just picked them all up because they look like they had some value. This one doesn't sound like it's in there, but it's in there. I mean, Dirt Showdown. Showdown. That is a huge pile there already, and we've still got more, more, more. Yes, so these are the ones as well where they were £1. Lost Planet 2. The guys, when they're bringing out the stuff and they're asking you, look, the charity shops are saying this is everything I've got. I tend to pick up quite a lot because then, I guess from my point of view, it builds that relationship. And next time I go in, they say, oh, we've got some games here, potentially. Uh, it's worked in the past, hence why I still do it. Uh, Sega Rally, good game. And then some just some standard Wii games. So the Sonic Secret Rings, Jenga, Family Party, Mountain Sports, Indiana Jones, uh, McGree Gunsling Pack. Looks like a good game, to be fair. Uh, and now I freaked out when I saw this. However, they let me have it. It's only the case. So there's no game. I've got a couple of these already. I don't have a loose disc, but I thought I'd take the case. Usually with charity shops, if they find empty cases, they throw them away. I always tell them, if there's any empty cases, put them aside. I will take them off their hands. And I even give them a little value, a little fee for keeping them. But they just, they say, no, don't want no money. Uh, just take them. Now, another box set that was a pound. So games are thrown one to four. I believe that's got some value on it. So uh, in CEX, I picked that up to trade in. You would have seen from my CEX video, I didn't trade in the mummy. I had to keep that. So that's still here. That needs to go away. And then other games, games, games. So other games I picked up CEX vouchers, a couple of these. Uh, I'll tell you why I picked them up. So I picked up both Pokemon games on the Wii. I don't have them. Um, uh, Pokemon always tends to hold its value. So I did pick them up. They're in good shape as well. Uh, and I will add them to collection. That's all Wii Pokemon games completed for me now. I've got the rest up on the shelf. 
Uh, so they can go over there. They're going in the collection. And then two that I picked up. I always just tend to pick up GameCube games. Trying to build a little collection for it because I've got a few of the consoles. Crush Hour, £6. Over there. And then the Bungo game. I need this because you would have seen. I've been picking up quite a few of the Bungos. Cunk, Bungos? Whatever they're called. Bungos. They're not even called that. Whatever they're called, those little drums. Uh... But yeah, I've got I haven't got the game that goes inside, so I've picked up the game to complete it to go in the box. And then uh, again with the connect, I've got loads of connects. I want games to put with these connects, so when I go to sell them, I've got some games that I can give with them. I, I feel better if I do it that way. Uh, and this looked like a brilliant game that could go with it. I've never played it. It hasn't got a great uh, sell-on value, I assume, because CX are selling it for a pound. But it's uh, Rise of Nightmares. It looks like a horror type game. So I don't even know how you play that with a connect, but pick that up. And then two charity shop finds that I had. So Buster Block, uh, Need for Speed Carbon, 50p each. So I picked those up. And then I, oh, this is the, this one got given back to me in CEX. Uh, I'll mostly just sell it. They said the disc was a little bit scratched, a little bit dirty, which it does look like. Hopefully you can see that, guys. Uh, but it's the Mario and Sonic uh, Olympic Winter Games. So I will just give that a clean and I will just sell that myself. Uh, so I've got that. Now, one of the other big pieces picked up from the charity shop this sent me back five pounds, which I've, with some of these games, to be fair, I can't even remember what games were with it, but it's the same charity shop doesn't free for one pound. Uh, but was a one twenty one a twenty a gig hard drive, uh, black Xbox. Now, I took it. It's got everything with it. Uh, it's got pads, so I've got pads. I've got the back of the pads as well, which is brilliant. So, so I'm looking over there, like the camera's there. I always need the black backs because I'm always finding uh, controllers without the backs. So I've got three empty ones there now. Uh, now, that's a mic. We just got thrown in with it. I have no idea, guys, what these are. These were thrown in and I've got three of them. My, my gut tells me it's for the joypads to go into so you can use them wireless. I don't know. So I just don't know what they are. So, yeah, there's three of those. Uh, that's the HDMI, and that's the power pack, and then thrown in as well was the little internet piece that goes on the back, so you can get internet. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, Fiverr. Happy days. We take that every day. Now, over to this side. This one st stuff starts getting interesting. Where am I going to start? Uh, let's start in this because I only posted this yesterday on my Instagram. Uh, hence, when the video is being done, anyway. So, went into, had lunch with the missus. Uh, she hates it when I go into charity shops and we're out for the day. But she was in one of those poxy B&M shops and home bargains. I don't know if she just gets, you know, there's something that I don't know, like they live. You know, like there's a subliminal message that goes out that says you need to go into a bloody home bargains and B&M. Don't know what it is, but I don't know. She's just attracted to there with all the Miss Hinch fans uh, that go there. So I left her to go in there. I'm going to go and look in the charity shops because that's where my uh, messages are bringing me. But yeah, right on the back of the shelf. Right on the back of the shelf. And I've literally just watched the Boba Fett on Disney. Was this bad boy from Star Wars? Uh, yeah, and I think it's from the Star Wars Legacy series. From So I know it's from 2008 and Hasbro. But yeah, look at that. And it was £5. Uh, I think I've done all right. I've looked on eBay. The only one I can see that's sold, sold for £38 in December. Uh, now, I don't know the value might have gone up on these. It's not something I'm going to keep, guys. I'm more than likely just going to move that on. Uh, but £5 into £40 isn't a bad return. But yes, so I did pick up him. I'm running out of room to put things. You're going to have to go under the table for the minute. You stay there. Uh, so that was a great pick up. Now, let's do this one first. This is where I need to start sorting out space. Uh, so yeah, back into a charity shop. Free for one pound on games. I love the free for one pound. Uh, there was PSP games. Now, there's only five. I just give two pound. And they're going, no, we can do it where it's like 30p. I was like, no, no, just take the two pound. Seriously, it's fine. It's fine. They're worth more than two pound. Uh, but yeah, Rocket and Clank. PSP. Little Planet. Little Big Planet. Liberty Stories. Now, with Liberty Stories, I was gutted because I am... Trying to look for a Liberty story. Guys, I think I've got about five anyway. But for someone with a PSP. Uh, and I opened it up and it had The Sims 2 in it. But we take it anyway. Because it's a case and it's a game. Uh, so I put that as part of the bundle. Uh, Loco Rocco. Pick that up. And then Need for Speed Carbon. Which is just funny. I keep, find, I keep finding this game everywhere. On different consoles. But yeah. 
they were two pound uh, so i picked those up now the rest of this bag was five pounds so i paid five pound it has got two games in it uh so guitar hero world tour just dance another just dance i'm hoping they got some value still and then there was absolute shed load of graphic novels so and i've got these so these are just be bundled up you know i might do these at a car beat might do these at a show uh but yeah watchman or ebay a few comics nothing great but like lab rats x-men i think these are just sat on a shelf somewhere out in their back room in there like scott I'm gonna put these in the bundle for you because uh, i buy the graphic novels uh this bad boy there's got to be some value here because this is an on omnibus uh and it's x-men new x-men grant morrison as well uh so i need to look at this one this one might just demand some money i don't know but yeah it's a huge huge what where's it from what what, epi what episodes what series is it from so it's from 114 to 154 new x-men 2001 when it originally come out it was $120. Uh, don't know what the value is now. Don't know if it's stepped up. Don't know if it's stepped down. But I have it here. Um, something I, I wouldn't be holding on to. Not a big fan of the graphic novels versus actually collecting the comics. Uh, so I have to pick that up. They must have thrown this in here because I tend not to take Judge Dredd stuff. But cursed, the Cursed Earth Saga. Don't take Judge Dredd. Uh, yep. A yearbook. So 2000 AD. A 94 spaced out yearbook. Uh, don't look too bad to be fair, it's alright, innit? It's alright, little fold out. But yeah, the graphic novels, because they know I like them. Whenever I go in, they, there's a little bundle there, and they're like, oh, you like this stuff, do you? You know, give us this for this. And I'm like, yeah, alright. And this is what I mean, guys, when I've got to take any. Sometimes I take anything uh, just to keep those relationships, like Kick Ass graphic novel. But Kick Ass, to me, Kick Ass is a brilliant comic book series. Uh, I know it's got a movie, and that's the movie graphic novel, but it's still from the same comic book series. Uh, but the comic was brilliant and then apps, uh, I was going to say absolutely loads of Walking Dead but they ain't but it got a couple of Walking Dead points there what is this 17 and 22 a new beginning so this will be near the end try to see what ones they are that's Negan's on there so that's I'm assuming we're going to this is yeah so Death of Glenn I've turned to the page as well uh, so yeah see so mostly one of the good ones so got those and then Alan Moore, always good to pick up Alan Moore. Halo Jones, 2000 AD. Realm of the Damned. Another one there. Grant, Mor Grant Morrison again, 18 days, volume three. Don't know what I've done with a lot. I think I might have shifted some of these at the boot sale last time. Uh, they went pretty quick. And that's because if I'm with my, if I'm at the boot sale, my mum will come with me and help. Uh, and she don't know the value of stuff, guys. She'll be just telling people it's a pound. And then when I get back, she's like... Yeah, I've taken some money. Taken four pounds. All right, thanks, Mum. Uh, but yeah, again, 18 days. Volume two, four, five, and one. So yeah, I'm assuming it's a set or what it's up to already. And then what is this one? Animals in Machines. What the hell is this? The New York Times best-selling classic. I don't know about this, but Grant Morrison again. I can't really see what that says. I, I thought it said web, but it looks like it's Wii 3 or something. But it looks crazy. That's crazy. Oh, what's going on there? Squirrel's going mad. Is there any food in there for him? Yeah, he's eating. He's eating. He's soaking wet because it's raining, but he's still eating. Uh, and that's it. That's graphic novels. So that's done. There's still a small pile of graphic novels, graphic novels over here, so I need to get my act together. Now, this is another brilliant find. Uh, how much did I pay for this? Oh, I paid 10. I paid 10. Uh, and I thought that was a good buy. £10 for the bag gonna go through the bag to show you what's in there now first thing i'm just gonna pull out i say i'm gonna pull out i remember when i was putting this in there i had to cram this in uh ps3 i, I don't i don't come across that many ps3s uh but yeah ps3 it's got all the wires so i need to keep this together i'll put that there for a minute yeah that's down on its side uh it's got a pad which is great and what i always like to find is a charger for the pad so it's got all the wires and it's got the pad charger it's always missing these, uh, so everything is there for the PlayStation 3. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. I tend not to get that many, I was going to say, tend to not get that many PlayStation 3s in like I'm running a business. Uh, and then this was thrown in there. Now, I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, X Mini, sound beyond size. Absolutely no idea. Uh, I thought it was part of the PlayStation 3, to be fair. I thought it was a camera or something. 
Uh, oh, what is that? That's a bit of wiring for it. But yeah, a little blue thing. A little blue thing. That's a speaker. Uh, yeah, a little speaker in there. So that, don't know what that is. Maybe it hooks up to your phone and it plays the music loud. But yeah, you know, why not? I have to do a bit of research, see how much they are or how much they're worth. But yeah, that was in there. That's fantastic. Uh, leave that on there. And then games, guys. There's games. So, uh, yeah, let's go through these. So, DS, Yogi. Pokemon, Ultra Moon, 3DS. The Tales of Small Mouse, Big Dreams. Uh, so that one was there. Battles on leg on leg uh, Lego battles. I think I've traded that one to CX before. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, and then some of the games that were with it. Uh, so you got Batman. Oh, it is in there. Oh, there's another game in there. Oh, there's two Batmans. There's Batman Asylum and uh, Batman Lego. That's good. Need to change that case. That case is battered and take the other game out. Uh, Wii Party, and it's funny because I don't come across Wii Party. Wii Music. It's not a very desirable game, but I don't come across this game that often. Uh, and it's funny because I come across one today when I got this other bag that I go through because I did have a chuckle. Uh, a chuckle. Uh, but yeah, so that's there. I need to check value. I just I just put this in the bundle, uh, Pokemon 4 movies. Put it in the bundle. I don't know enough about it. Need to check this one as well. Don't know enough about this. And the case put me off massively, but it gets thrown in. And it's not that much money for it. £10. Uh, but yeah. I don't even know what that is. I'll scan that. Made in the US. That scares me. That means it's a US game, I think. Made in the EU. Yeah, it's a US game. Which is good, because I watch uh, US... I watch a few US YouTubers who've got PO boxes. So I might just... I'm starting to find a lot more US games. I'll mostly just put a bundle together and just send it out for, them for free. Uh, I don't care about it. I'm not, what am I going to do with it? Uh, so I will start putting those together. Because I picked up a hell of a lot of Lego games. That game now some Pokemon games, etc. Uh, and then, yeah, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty Stories again, but not sealed and on PlayStation 3. Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, oh, these piles are getting massive here now. The Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. That's the collection as well. Trilogy. Oh, is that Tomb Raider 1? Oh, I thought it was Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, don't fall over. Eagles. Now, this has got a good trading. I think £7 trading in CEX. It's going CEX. I've traded a few of these in now. I keep finding it. It's like my go-to... Uh, find what is it the Eagles farewell tour uh, so yeah that will go CEX let's make a new pile over there and then F1 racing 2012 when someone brought this their receipt they brought it in Bromley Orpington HMV that is a long time ago because that has closed down they brought it 20, 20 the 22nd of the 9th 2012 at 443 and they paid £40 for it uh, so it's there so We've got that as well. I was about to tell you that's it, but there isn't. There's some more games before I throw this. Uh, the Hitman. So this is a weird one. Uh, it's like a collector's box, is it? So it's got a book and everything in it. <sighs> I don't know. I'm not a fan of the Hitman uh, franchise, but yeah, that's there. Let's leave that up there. We'll check that one. The Last of Us. Come across this all the time now. Uh, yeah, just seems to come across that. These come with a console. Batman 2. Red Dead, and another F1. F1, 2014. It's nice to find PS3s. Like I said, guys, I tend not to find PS3s. Uh, so you got that. And then this is the last one now. We're getting there, the last one. I'm hoping the GoPro battery doesn't die. Uh, and there's a hell of a lot in this one. So this, I'll tell you what's in there straight away. So there's games and two PlayStation 2s. Uh, and they wanted £20. It's more than what I paid for the PlayStation 3, right? Uh, but two PlayStation 2s, a load of games, some Wii games as well, desirable Wii games. Uh, when they said it, because at first I was like, two PlayStation 2s for £20. And one of them's missing the power and the HDMI. And I was like, oh, no, I don't think I'm going to pick these up. And then they went, oh, it comes with all these games as well. And I looked at the games, there's a Nintendo Wii, and there's loads of games, different consoles. So I said, yeah, no, I'll, pick it, I'll take it. Uh, so I took that. But DVD player, version 2.1. So I'm guessing that's for the control. Uh, but yeah, that comes with it. The control was here. There's the bit that actually goes on the control. I'm hoping it's still in there and it hasn't fallen down the side. Because you need the infrared that goes on there. But I've got that. Another memory card. The amount of memory cards I come across. Uh, right. Let's get these out. So you've got that. 
which obviously scar turns into scar you got the wire for the playstation 2 so one of the playstation 2 plug and the wire i should have put that down there now but we'll do that in a minute because the playstation 2s are at the bottom the actual oh remote instructions and the eye toy because there is a camera in there as well camera was part of it uh oh, look i'm running out of room run out of room you're gonna have to go down there Right, there's the, let's get all this. There's a pad. There's the pad. I don't know how many pads there were, actually. I'm trying to check the bottom of the bag just to get this bloody infrared thing. Oh, I don't do this. There he is. That's the infrared for the remote control. That is the eye toy. So there's the eye toy and the remote control. Let's put you over there. Stay. Everything stay. And then games. Guys, the bag's just full of games. A uh, hell of a lot of games. Look, Wii, Wii U games as well. Uh, so, not the game everyone wants to see, but you look at... Uh, yeah, right. So, this is it. There's a couple of where they're just cases. I will tell you what ones are cases. So, the ISS. Uh, I say ISS. It's Pro Evolution Soccer. But my Clockhouse game has got a little little bit of damage on the front of the cover. So, I'm going to swap this out. Uh, and I'll keep the instructions. Don't know why. Oh, this one's broke. This one's broke. No. That's going to be... Uh, now, Wii U games, I'm bloody happy to come across these. And I need to check the values. Instructions are in there, manuals, discs, uh, Mario Party 10. Minecraft, Wii U edition. I've already checked these Wii U ones. They're the ones I actually did check. Uh, so you got Splatoon and, Splatoon and Mario Kart 8. Uh, not as desirable, I think, as the two that I've just put down. Uh, but yeah, happy of those. These, did these have games in? So, yeah, all right, this is it then, because I found this. So this is, so it's not an empty cap. What? So this is Agent Under Fire, which is fine. Agent Under Fire. Right, let's start as we mean to go on. Lord of the Rings, but it's got uh, Night Nightfire in there. So Nightfire there. Lord of the Rings, I've seen in one of the cases. Uh, so we'll go through them now. Giddy doo. So you got Wallace and Gromit. And it's in there. Excellent. Road Rage, Simpsons. Two games. We've got Road Rage in there. And you would have seen the other week I picked up a Road Rage, but I need the case. Downhill Domination. I'm assuming that is... That is what? That's got to be snowboarding. It's got a cheat hotline on there as well. I've never seen that on the disc before. Uh, so yes, you've got that. Welcome back. Uh, guys, apologies. GoPro died. That's two things. That either means me I've been rabbiting on for too long, or where I've done my other video before, which I'm going to use it down to that, is that I just didn't charge the battery. Uh, I'm hoping this isn't over an hour video, uh, but there's a hell of a lot to go through. There's a hell of a lot I've picked up. Uh, so back where I was, so I think I said about this downhill domination. There's a cheat code on there. Never seen that before on UK discs, but you can see it there. Uh, next games. So got the eye toy. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, Mission Impossible, and Scooby-Doo, Mystery and Mayhem. Uh, so they're all there. I just want to make sure quickly that they are, not all that they're in there, but I think there are some that had more than one disc in. It's not those. Uh, and then these were the next games. Jesus, there's so many games. And guys, I will be going through these, just pricing them up and bringing them. So my next job after all this is, I'm, I'm sitting on thousands and thousands and thousands of games here. I'm seeing about 10 tubs. And then that's without everything that's on the floor. And it's everything from Mega Drive all the way up to Xbox, PlayStation 4, Super Nintendo. I'm just going to price them up. My loft is full, but full of the special, mostly Wii, mostly Nintendo, not Wii, Nintendo. So there's from the old NES all the way up to Super Nintendo, Street Fighter editions, uh, consoles that is. And loads of Wiis where you would have got the Mario Kart with the steering wheel, uh, Wii Play, Wii Sports, uh, result with the actual joypad in there. I've mostly got about 10 of each. Not good, but they've got some value as well. Uh, back to this. So, Family Ski. Not seen that before. That was in there. And this is the funny thing about these ones. So when I was in there, they picked... Just another funny story quickly. Told you, there's another one. Two in two days. Uh, they threw these in the bin and said, oh, no one wants these. Threw them in the bin. I said, look, don't throw them in the bin. I'll take them. Put them as part of the price deal. I'll take them. Uh, another one. Weirdly, I've not seen this game... So I have seen this game, so wrestling on the PS2. Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain. I've not seen Here Comes the Pain. Now it's got a little snippet come away from the top, which is a bit disappointing, but it's sealed. 
It's still sealed, so that will go with my sealed game section there. Uh, Tiger Woods, 21. Not really hold their value, do they? Cricket, don't hold their value. FIFA 2002 doesn't hold its value. Another eye toy. Uh, so you can see with these FIFAs, this would have been when the console first came out, and these would have been the desirable sporting games people would have won with the computer. The graphics would have been first class. This would have been new gen, uh, new generation console. And uh, right, that's there. We're coming up to the last of the games, which is always good. Uh, weakest link. I think that still goes now. This might be the one that was an empty case, I think. Yeah, so Matrix, empty case. I'm going to take that case. It's not too bad. Clock Tower 3 is going to go in there. Uh, and it's got the little sticker there as well that's supposed to be there. So that can go down there. Gran Turismo 4 was another one. Missing. Uh, so that's an empty case. Wii Sports was in there. It's always good to get the DVD collection. And again, bundling with consoles. Just Dance 2014. Narnia. Narnia. Uh, Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. Brilliant BBC One uh, program back in the day, if you remember that. Quidditch World Cup. Guys, I come across this Harry Potter game all the bloody time. Every charity shop I go into has this game. And I think every charity shop I've gone into and seen it, I think I've picked it up. Thinking it's a really desirable game and I'm going to get some money for it. Madagascar. Madagascar. This is the one that had two games in it. Simpsons Skateboarding. So it's got the Lord of the Rings, which where did I just put that Lord of the Rings? Over there. So I've got the Simpsons skateboard in, which I don't have, to be fair. Uh, and I can now put this game. Oh, I knew I saw that game somewhere. So yes, complete. And then PlayStation 2 booklets, instructions, etc. Uh, which is strange. There's no box, but I'll keep it anyway. I'll put it in the bag with one of them. So you've got... This is the cleaner PlayStation, actually. So this is the one that everything come with. You know, you've got the pads, everything else. That's the PlayStation 2. Uh, that's one of them. And then this is the PlayStation that just, I want to say just come on its own. Uh, it needs a little bit of a clean. It come with no wires. She believes that the people in the charity shop threw the wiring away thinking it was for something else. Because they brought this in and they brought it in with a shaving adapter plug. Uh, which, yeah, definitely isn't for this. And this isn't American. Uh, but, yeah. Another PlayStation 2. So two PlayStation 2s. Uh, that's it. That's the black bag. Got four. Four, four, four. So that's it, guys. In terms of pickup, that is the amount I've picked up. The first, the first two weeks in February. So you can see why I need to start getting my act together around shifting some of this stuff. Because you can see I've got into, and if you've been watching this since the beginning, loads of people commenting going, Scott, you know, it was full before you had all the DVDs, you got rid of it. Yeah, but guys, I'm going to be very honest. I had two leather couches in here as well with that stuff in here. So I had a leather couch here and I had a leather couch across the back. Now, if you look now, there's no leather couch here at all, which you can see Harry Potter books that need to go. They're all going to go in the boot sole. There's two rows of Harry Potter books. I need to go through all the books. CDs, mostly my CDs, you know, gaming. This is just, it's just turned into a bit of, you know, a bit messy. Let's say messy. You've got, oh, look at that. You've got the DVDs that I need to go through. These are my own personal DVDs. I need to go through these because uh, there's some of these that just need to go. And I think I was saying the other day in one of my, like, you know, the stand-up comedian ones you don't need anymore. Jordan's workout, like that's the missus stuff buying that. That needs to all go. Uh, let's just go for a little quick little tour. Let's go for a quick little tour while we're here. I'm trying to get the screen up so I know what I'm looking at. But yeah, the Mighty Max, obviously, oh, let's look at the games actually first while I can see this now. I'm definitely going to keep the store display of Lego. It works, it's got batteries in it, it's brilliant. It was a great pickup. Uh, stuff up here, Blood Sports got, it's going to go. You know, Escape, that's going to go. The Pro Football game. Marvel Rally, it's no Domino Rally. The games are doubles of the like role playing games of Marvel. The Super Sto uh, Super Scope emotionally go. Balzac's gonna stay. That makes me laugh. Uh, can't believe someone named something after that. Yeah, and look guys, you just got some of the games here. Another goat. I think there's two ghost castles. Got two ghost castles. They're gonna go. Uh, Pokemon Trainer's gonna go. Uh, Hero Quest is gonna go. Might keep Dragon Ball because it's never been done. Hero Quest Puzzle. So guys, this is what I mean with the puzzles. I was fi I find these at boot sales all the time. Just keep an eye on your puzzles because I never knew they'd done Hero Quest runs. But that's all in there. That's going to go. I'm going to keep my uh, Mighty Ducks. But yeah, let's get back over here. So look at that. Mighty Max. 
if you haven't watched my video, it's a very early video. Facebook Marketplace, there was a lady selling a whole collection of Mighty Max. Uh, 20 pounds, 20 pound. So there was three pieces that were boxed, which I've got. It's got, it includes every single line of the big collection, which are the box stuff. And most of the small collections, the small little heads, the big heads. Guys, 20 quid. Uh, this lady, she had a beautiful house in Tunbridge, Wales. Uh, massive. And she said once she sold it to me, loads of people on Facebook Marketplace were contacting her, telling her that uh, they give her four times the money. She's like, no, I'm a lady of my word, etc. My word's my word. I was thankful. I asked her if she wanted more money. She said, no, that's what she wanted for it. That's what she was getting rid of it for. Guys, check that video out. I'll try and do a more detailed video in the future, but... When I tell you, I've got about two, three boxes full of Mighty Max from that for £20. It, it was brilliant. Uh, and then you go along here. So you got, this was, I think this was a pound, wasn't it? In the charity shop, you guys would have seen that. Fully complete. Uh, Django, again, paid up for that. Well, I didn't pay up for it. I think I paid 100 for it at the time. Uh, it's a desirable piece. They got recalled. Trash bag, trash bag. Loads of Terminators and Aliens. And that, again, that was a pickup. Paid £90 for a whole bag for life full of ter old terminator figures most of the line and the same with aliens uh i don't want to say what's behind it. i think i've got mandalorian haven't i and toxie but this is what i mean guys if i can start moving some of this stock out look at the dvd start moving this out i can kind of spread these toys out more and have decent lines on show again got i started to collect some of the wii u i only got to three embarrassingly free uh but i've got a few now but i'm mostly just going to chip them in i don't have a wii u at the moment and then i started to try and go for quite a big wii u set so these are the ones you can only see uh there's double behind and there's a load more on the floor down here and then when argos cleared out all their 3ds uh, which i always talk about they cleared out their 3ds's i brought every game that they had in my local one sealed including pokemon uh, sun and moon uh i'll keep those all sealed and then you look at the top old man logan old man hawkeye charity shop find this is brilliant. I love all this stuff. That's from my childhood, my wife's childhood. So the mini books of Beatrice Potter. I've got so many Bowen statues at the back for Marvel. Guys, I can't step because you look at the floor and this is what I'm saying I need to clear out. Look, this is without the loft. And look look what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm becoming my own worst enemy because I've got the Ewok base on top of the... People are going to go, Scott, what the hell are you doing? These are collector's items both masters masters of the universe grace gold box snake mountain got a commodore 64 there as well which is just random uh but yeah there's loads of electronics that i was doing i went through a stage of trying to do stuff with electronics guys it didn't work i'm gonna see if i can get some light in here off the phone because that's always there you go so yeah you got cushions from when i had the couches another crystal maze bewitched lots of signed books uh Look at that original from the house clearance that I've done. Uh, where I picked up loads of bits and pieces. AEW ring, the turtle blimp, fraggle rock. What is that one there? Oh, that's Murdoch boxed. Uh, look, Bucky O'Hare. So I've got the whole line of Bucky O'Hare and vehicles. You can see a, a queen hive alien. But look, guys, you can see the T Rex mask, Millennium Falcon from the 90s line. More toys over the back. You can see, like, I'm just trying to shine. It's tonnage. This is without the loft, guys. It's without the loft. Uh, and then the teddies are just go. I've got so many teddies in the loft as well. And then the shelves are like free, free back now. Blu-rays, Mega Drives, absolutely loads of Mega Drive games. Uh, behind this, and I've always said this, I can't get there. I can't even show you guys. Behind this, it's stacked up to the shelf of games. Uh, so yeah, we need to go through it. We need to go through it. PS4s, PS2s, a Nintendo Wii. Black Nintendo Wii. Yeah, there's so much here. And then you just look more Mega Drive all the way down. PlayStation 1. Yeah, there's a lot to go through. A lot to go through and clear. And then obviously the house clearing stuff that I was telling you guys about. Obviously not Bigfoot. More toys up here. But yeah, you can just see some of the bits and pieces that we've got. Loads get Snatcher. There you go. Thundercats. He Man. Ghostbusters. The He-Man tent playset. All the vintage Star Wars, tub of those, and then loads of toys, and then games. About 10 tubs of games. You've got Dreamcast, PlayStation, Wii. There's sealed in there as well. I think I've got a box of sealed. Uh, so yeah, guys, let's sit back over here. But yeah, and then the CD unit, like I shouldn't have, and this is it, guys. Look at the setup, it's pretty poor. So I need to get better at this. But two Xboxes, you know, the telly's there, 
I want to raise it up a little bit. Fruit machine needs to go. I don't use the fruit machine. Just don't use the fruit machine. But you've got like a My Pet Monster. Uh, the little glove there. Look at all this at the top. Another T-Rex. The back cave, uh, which has been like graded material. So it's inside. But yeah, King Kong. That needs to be on its own. But I got that from a charity shop. Again, Pioneer. Only a tenner. Uh, I think it was a tenner at the time, was it? Maybe a little bit more. I can't remember. It's a while back. Uh, but yeah, there's so much at the top. So much at the top, we're going back. But I've got a record player sign there. And I've got neon lights that I used to have on. I used to love the neon lights. But yeah, when we go to the gaming guys, you can kind of see there, you see what I mean about joy pads. Can't really get there, but there's, everything's full of old consoles and uh, pads. So let's just flick back. Let's flick back around. So yeah, guys, that's that's where I am with everything. There's so much to go through here. And that, this is without the loft. Uh, I don't want to get into the, I don't want to get into the habit where I'm buying or trying to rent out a storage unit that's not for me it's not something i should be getting into because it's gone too much the other way and as time goes on and i get older move this forward this, we've only got limited time on this earth that's the way i'm looking at it now and i'd love to have all this stuff on display i don't have children currently uh and would they show any interest in it i don't know if they did they might i might keep a few bits and pieces but at the moment i'm like look actually what could I do now? What can I enjoy now if I start shipping some of this out? I'm not saying, obviously, I'm going to give up collecting. I'm always going to be collecting. I'm a collector at heart. Uh, I love this stuff. I live, eat, and breathe it. Uh, but I want to buy more stuff and bring it in and keep more bigger lines. Or do I sell, like, this stuff here? This Most of this house clearance and charity shop. Now, I need to ship this out. Buy myself some growls. I keep saying that I want the Godzilla Shogun. Godzilla Shogun. Fires his little fist, the original one. I've got Shogun Warrior, haven't I, in the corner? from another facebook marketplace boxed but i want i want more of those desirable lines i want like a few of those in my collection versus just having tonnage so it's time for me to go through the amount of console guys you would have seen another playstation there a lot of consoles that i need to go through that are not desirable at the moment but some might be desirable to someone they might they're going to want to pick it up so i need to go through it first thing we'll be going through the games I think I'm going to sell under just sell under what CEX want for the games. I think that's always the best place to start. And I mostly sit there, go through the thousands of games and just put a sticker on each one of them. And I'm always close to what goes up and what goes down. But if I put stickers on them, get all that done, and then that's ready for my first fair or sale that I do. And then the toys. Toys are going to be a little bit more harder because you've got to type that in. I want to bag them up and do it properly. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's daunting. The amount, the task now to get this stuff going. And I've mostly done it the wrong way, I'll be honest with everyone. I've mostly done it where I thought, I need to buy, I need to buy. If I start selling, this, the, the kind of what I had in my head is, if I start selling, uh, I will run out of stock. And it'd just be embarrassing for me, but embarrassing for everyone else. Because it's like you try and bring people on that journey, and there is no journey. The journey I've already reached endgame, it's finished. Uh, so I kept saying to myself, keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. The only thing is, I've made these connections, I've made these friends, I've made these contacts. Uh, stock is coming through rapidly but i've got no means of i've got no means set up currently of get, getting this stuff out getting it sold putting stuff back into the collections i'm really good at sourcing 100 percent brilliant at sourcing brilliant at networking building those relationships not so good at selling absolutely under at the moment because i've got i'm not sold much at all not sold much at all for the the amount i have coming in versus going out i don't want to get into the other way where i've got so much going out and nothing coming in because that scares me. I've seen YouTubers that have done that, brought us on that journey. Uh, and it's it's happened and it can happen. So I don't want to get to that point as well. But I'm at a point now, I've got to do something. I can't, I can't keep going like this where it could be another 10 years and I've accumulated what? What, fill the spare room? Fill the living room? And then what? I, I say I'm going to ship it out. I'm, I'll be in my 50s, 60s. It's too late. It's too. I need to act now. That, that's where I've gotten to. I need to act now. I still have stuff in the collection. Still want to keep my key items and have a few on display. But for me, it's about maybe giving someone else that enjoyment, that buzz, that satisfaction in terms of what I get out of the items back into the community, but then also putting stuff into me so I still keep that buzz and energy going. And I haven't lost that. I love it. Like I said, I think in my last video, I love the thrill of the hunt and the boot sales. But I can't keep going like this. This stuff will kill me where it will just topple on top of me. And we don't want that. We, I want a fine selection, a fine balance. 
I, I guess what I need is a process. I need a process in place. And I've nailed it. I've nailed In terms of sourcing, let's all say, you can all say, let's tick box that. The sourcing is 100% done. The next bit for me now is sorting out the selling piece. And then it might be a little bit, you know, I, I've got a full-time job. So it's that to think about and how that works around it. But it's daunting when you look at it. And the end game for me was always, ah, oh, I want to ship this back out into the community. I want to have a robust planning place. And at the moment, that's not happening. The only plan that's happening is me going to CEX, chopping in two, three bags for life, but picking up five items, which is good, but it's still not going through the sheer volume that I've got. Uh, so something needs to change. Something needs to happen. So stay tuned because no doubt I will bring you on the journey in terms of how we get on. In terms of reselling, there's so much to think about, isn't there? There's packaging, there's advertising, there's where I go to sell. There's the confidence piece of selling. You know, it's all right saying that you want to sell. It's the confidence piece. I do boot sales. Boot sales are going to be very different to actually selling. You know, the clientele, the people that are buying stuff, they're going to expect stuff at a better presentation or better nick than what you want at a boot sale. Just clearing it out. Uh, that's why that's good for sourcing. But I guess when you're selling, it's cleaning, knowing your prices, knowing your audience. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking it, thinking it a little bit. Right, that's the next bit I need to move into. There's a hell of a lot to get through. But the first thing needs to go is this. I think if I can make a dent and get rid of the fruit machine is the first thing to go, the Pac-Man fruit machine. And to be fair, I think I've had it on twice for the lights because it looked bloody, br it looked brilliant in here when I had the couches and it was on. I had the neon lights and it stood out. But now... It's taking up a lot of space for not doing anything, so that needs to go. But guys, I could chat for a few hours on all this. I really could because it's daunting at the moment, but I still love buying. You can see I'm bringing in so much because it's the thrill of the... I love the thrill of the hunt, the thrill of the unexpected, what you can find. Uh, and I love everything from the childhood. Our childhoods were awesome, wasn't it? If you're watching this channel, you're similar to myself. Our childhoods were awesome. We weren't glued to an iPhone, uh, you know... There wasn't all this political stuff that, or there mostly was, but we were oblivious to it. We are in our own little bubbles. Uh, life felt a little bit more easy going. You know, now everything's so political. Uh, you know, technology's gone massively in advance. Uh, well, you've still got a gaming community, thank God, but toys are not really what toys used to be in my eyes. You know, movies are just being remade. Nothing seems original anymore, hence why everyone has this big pull, like me, back to the 80s, back to the 90s, 70s in some aspects. Uh, early 2000s because they were they were brilliant times weren't they and then obviously we just come out of lockdown as well so uh, during lockdown i feel there was a lot more people you know reconnected to their past getting back into collecting buying bits and pieces starting to collect but i now need to my next journey for myself is setting up the reselling aspect of it and it seems daunting when you think about it because i think i need a label machine I need to get my. I need to get some racking. I need to make sure this is all organised, uh, and it's how you make that. I guess that transition from collector, and I love to have it all around me, holding. I love to hold it, to actually letting go and letting other people enjoy it. But I'm massively coming around to it. I'm not going to lie. This it doesn't keep me up at night, but I do think about it daily, in terms of what I need to do to step change. Uh, and I think the first bit will be labelling some of this up, maybe getting some of these tubs out to. Uh, chat them maybe chat them because I, I think the tables are quite reasonable priced there and just see how i do on a toy fair and see if it's for me or not uh if not there's always the ebay aspect of it but ebay like anything pros and cons but guys we're going to leave it there no doubt you're going to see me on this journey and i'll film 100 percent all of this journey uh so yeah let's leave it there but overall back to this i think there's some brilliant pickups i'm always i'm always thankful when i find these consoles uh it's always a bit of my childhood i've got too many of them but if I can pick these consoles up for what I'm picking them on and flip them for maybe four or five times what I'm picking them up for, that's win-win. That means me buying, you know, flipping five or six consoles and buying one decent piece of my collection. Be that gaming, be that toys, or be that a comic. I even touched on the comics. I've got a huge comic collection as well. Uh, oh, right, there's a lot to go through. But guys, let's leave it there. I'm going to say my pickups. So I love the consoles, but I do like picking up at the moment is you always find these gems, especially in the UK. They seem to come, I say especially in the UK, I don't know what it's like in the States. I don't know if you find them in flea markets or uh, Goodwills. Uh, but I always love finding the sealed games in the charity shops. And it always amazes me that people keep sealed games and then give them to charity shops. I don't know what else they do with it. Uh, oh, is there a Lucy in there? Nope. Yeah, there's a loose one in there. Superstars V8. Thank God it wasn't. 
Grand Theft Auto. Uh, or wrestling, to be fair. But yeah, I like the sealed games. I'm starting to pick up, obviously, with the gaming and the amount I pick up now. The sealed game collection is... It's a tub at the moment. I think I've mostly got two tubs of sealed. Again, desirable at the moment with how gaming's going. So I have to dig them out. Uh, but yeah, let's leave it there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, Till next time, stay safe, take care. See you again soon.